All right, so if you're watching this video, you wanna know if you should invest in the Ceramonic Blink 500B2 Plus. I said that right. I can't believe I said that right on the first try. Ceramonic sent me their wireless mic lav system. Now this market is incredibly saturated with devices that are very similar to this. And I don't typically say yes to every company, but allegedly based off other reviews, this thing sounds really good. It sounds really good for a really good price. So we're gonna do a quick unboxing. I'm gonna run you through the specs. We'll probably even do a little comparison with the DJI mic systems right here that have the DJI mic one and the DJI mic two. Also have some other smaller systems like from Hollyland and from Mono. So yeah, we're gonna answer the question, who is this Ceramonic system for? And should you spend your money on it? So yeah, let's get into it. And of course, I'm gonna give you an audio sample with these because if they don't sound good, what's the point of even making this video? So what's in the box? So in the box, you get this nice little ceramic pouch and this pouch has all your goodies. What am I talking about? You get a USB-C to USB-A cable. It looks kind of nice, might be gold plated, you tell me. Two little wind muffs, obviously for the mic, cause it comes with two mics. A TRS cable for connecting to mobile devices. If your mobile device has a headphone jack, which none of them do. And a 3.5 to 3.5 cable. I actually like these types of cables. I bought some independently for use with other microphones. They work really well. Ceramonic knows what they're doing with their cables. So yeah, that all comes in this nice little pouch. And then this is what you guys came for, the wireless lav system. Now I'm not gonna BS any of you guys. I'm gonna give it to you straight. This is a chunky case. It is big. And Ceramonic is low key or high key, late to the game when it comes to this style of wireless lav system. The case, big, chunky, has little feet here to prevent it from sliding. Case charges via USB-C and it's got this texture all around. It's nice and grippy, big Ceramonic logo. Open it up and you are greeted with the two mics and the one receiver. Now we've seen this style of system before. This is the AirPod style wireless lav mic system that we've been accustomed to from DJI, Hollyland. And this is Ceramonic's take on this. Now I get sent a lot of products and there's a reason why I say no to 90% of them is because they suck. This one is a very unique use case product. Got a lot of competition, but allegedly it sounds really good. And that's why I'm giving it a shot. So yeah, let's see what we get in this little case. Obviously you get the little connectors. These connector are the DJI style connectors with USB-C and lightning. Obviously let you connect to your lightning or USB-C devices. This little guy has gold contacts that connect to the receiver. Here's your look at the receiver. It's powering on. We're gonna talk about that screen in a second. Just stay with me. Uh, you've got your hot shoe right here. And then you've got this little thing right here for putting on real time, guys. Is this rubber? They made this rubber? No, no way. Wow, all right, they made this rubber. Interesting. All right, so this slides in here, makes connection and then you can easily connect it to your device, your mobile device, like that. Don't mind my dirty iPhone, uh, but yeah, this is how you connect it to your Lightning iPhone or USB-C iPhone if you've got that, or an Android phone, I don't judge. I judge a little bit. Now this style has been proven to be difficult. Some brands have moved away from it. Let me know if you can hear the honking. I literally recorded this video twice because of uh, my own stupidity. So yeah, they made that rubber. I don't love it. Doesn't feel great, but it's probably for weather sealing. What do I know? It's got a USB-C pass-through on there. It's got a mode button, a power button, this terrible screen that's from the 90s, and then an out jack and a monitoring jack, obviously for your audio. This screen, I'm not even gonna read this. I'm not gonna try to read this. What's the point? And then you get your two mics. Now, the first thing I can tell you about this whole entire set, again, you, what you really care about is the sound quality. That's what we wanna know. We're gonna find that out together. But these feel really nice. They feel premium. They feel premium. They're made out of this nice metal finish. They feel weighty in a good way. They don't feel cheap. Also, if you look at the top here, these don't have any option for laughs, which is definitely a downgrade. Of course, what you guys wanna know is how these sound like. So I'm gonna plug one of these in real quick while I talk about them. Let's do that. And I'm not gonna monitor this. I'm just gonna raw dog it. So if it comes out sounding terrible, whoops. All right, so we're gonna do this real quick. I plugged in the transmitter to my camera. I still have this backup audio running just in case I ruin something. Um, 
And this is your ceremonic audio test. Now, of course, I'm not using the wind muff. I'm, I'm holding this extremely close to my face. Most people would not use the mic like this. Most people would clip it to their shirts. But because I didn't check my audio levels, I'm just going based off what the camera said. This is how we're doing the test. And honestly, this is how 90% of people are probably going to use this mic. You've seen those annoying people on street interviews where they just hold the mic with no regard for mic technique. They're just holding it right by their face. And the truth is, is that if you want good audio, the closer the mic is to your mouth, the better it sounds. So yeah, this mic also has noise canceling features and it has it has a, a high bit rate for recording as well but it's not 32 bit flow so when it comes to audio you be the judge of what it sounds like all right so you guys get to stare at this i'll probably put some b-roll in here while i talk about the microphones now first thing you have to know is that these microphones do not have internal recording now if you don't care about internal recording i think you're an idiot but some people don't need internal recording they're just recording directly to a device and these complete that second thing you need to know is that these don't support wireless these don't support labs so right now i have a lav this is a lav that plugs into a 3.5 jack mic up your talent or maybe you want to be mic'd up some people like that discreet kind of look these are specifically for people who don't care about having their mic I mean, you see right there on the photo, clip to their shirt or they're hand holding it for maybe street interviews or something like that. This system is honestly very late to the game and it's a very competitive market. So genuinely it's hard to recommend this Ceremonic Blink 500B2. And I like Ceremonic products. If you think it sounds good and you're on a budget, maybe this might be for you. But realistically, the market is, while wow, it sounds terrible, is oversaturated with options, especially for people who wanna do mobile creating and don't want to break the bank, you have wireless options here. So this is probably going to be a short one. There's not much information for me to go over on the features. Yes, they have, let's just read it off the box. Features, let's read it off the box since you guys might want that. It's got two noise canceling levels, a low cut frequency filter, selectable omnidirectional cardioid bidirectional stereo polar patterns, 2.4 gigahertz hopping technology, up to 150 millimeters, 150 meters of wireless working distance, and they record at 48 kilohertz HD audio format. So those are the quick specs right there. Honestly, nothing that's crazy impressive and isn't offered by one of their competitors, whether that's at a fraction of the price or exact the same price. So yeah, it's tough. I mean, you tell me if you like the sound quality. Apparently these sound amazing. I don't know. I mean, I will know when I finish editing this video. That being said, we need to answer that question. We need to answer the question, who is this mic for? Now, realistically, this is somebody who's a mobile creator who wants to get nice audio on a budget and they wanna be able to develop into using it with other systems in the future. Of course, the compatibility is Lightning, it's USB-C, and then 3.5 interior DSLR like I'm doing right now, or even Action Cam for that matter. So if you want a budget system that sounds good out the box, then the Ceremonic Blink 500B2 probably is for you. I mean, even the box on the branding kind of shows like a mobile creator right there with a DSLR. You've got options, you've got options with the system. Now, me personally, would I go out and buy this system? No, I already have too many wireless lab systems that connect to all my devices already. But this isn't about me, this is about you. If you don't care about internal recording, 32 bit, and you want a mobile device, this isn't a bad option. This isn't a bad option. It's solidly built, it sounds good. So yeah, that's my conclusion on the Bleak 500B2. I hope this is a good enough audio sample for you guys. I'm gonna switch back to my mic. Yeah, that's magnetic. I can probably just put it there. Anyway, switching back to my mic, that was just a quick overview. Do me a favor if you want to see a full sample comparison to the DJI Mic 2, the DJI Mic 1, whatever else I have laying around, check that. I'll put it in the description below. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more photo video content, and I'll see you in the next one. Somebody's going to ask, no, this is not going to fit with the wind muff. I don't know what planet you're on. Do you think that that's how, how that's going to work? Just stop already.